Hello first graders, I'm glad you're here today for another reading lesson. My camera is still not working, so I thought I would share this picture with you of the tree in the middle of our school campus. I always think of this guy as the old man tree, and it's my favorite tree on the campus. It's a blossoming cherry or maybe a blossoming apple, I'm not sure. It doesn't get any fruit, but it does have some lovely flowers, and it looks almost like snow. Uh, a couple weeks after it blooms. So I took this picture last year when it started blooming and I thought I'd share that with you. Today we are going to be looking at how writers use speech and thought bubbles to show what characters are saying and thinking. In our first book, A Fine Fine School by Sharon Creech, What do you notice about the illustrations in these pages? Who's saying these words? How can you tell? And how are these bubbles different from this bubble? This one's called a speech bubble. It shows us that a character is talking. And this is a thought bubble. It shows us what a character's thinking. This is what I'm saying, and this is what I'm thinking. Let's look at another book. This book is Blackout by John Rocco. I don't know if you remember it or not, but we did read it in class, and this is the book about the electrical outage in a city and what happened when all the electric went out. What do you notice about these pictures? How can you tell who's talking? And in this one, is she talking or yelling? How can you tell? I thought I would share with you today a book that Devin really likes called Amulet. So I'm going to open it up and there are a few cool text features in here. So this is a graphic novel. So we can see that there are speech bubbles. And also we've already talked about this sound words, click and whoosh. And I liked this word because it also is in the shape of the sound, like wind blowing out over their hair and we've talked about that already, so I thought that was cool. So in my journal, I'm going to talk about this book. And today's date is 4.15. It might be a different day for you, and that's okay. And I'm going to write in the book Amulet, The author uses speech bubbles to tell who's talking. And then you might like to draw a picture of your favorite page and tell me what number page it is. If you do not have any graphic novels or any books in your home with speech bubbles or thought bubbles, I have assigned a book for you in Epic or you can look for your own book in Epic. And these are the two books we've talked about here. They are embedded into the slideshow that I have shared with you. All you have to do is click on them and they will take you to the read aloud for that story. If you can't find any or you don't see any in these videos, you could make up your own graphic page with speech bubbles or thought bubbles. I'm glad you came today, first graders. I'll see you again.